guys, welcome back. So today I am playing around in my Morphe 35H palette and this is their new Hot Spot palette. It is full of beautiful cool tone blues and fiery reds. I think it's gorgeous for a new Morphe palette and I really had fun playing around with it. So let's go ahead and get started with this face. I'm moisturizing today with my e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer. I really like this moisturizer, you guys. It leaves my skin feeling nice and soft, extremely hydrated, and I really like to use it. You can use it on a daily basis, so it's very, very nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows using my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm just filling them in, as you can see. <laughs> I have basically no eyebrows, so I'm more or less drawing them on. I'm cleaning them up with my Wet n Wild Concealer. And this is in the color Deep Tan, I believe. Deep Mocha, Deep Something. Now to prep my lids, I am using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I think that this paint pot works really well with these Morphe shadows. It really helps the color to pop and it helps the shadows to stick as well. So the first color that I'm going to go into for this look is Party On. It's a really pretty deep burgundy shade. And what I'm doing today, you guys, is I'm using it to create kind of like a really bold wing with the shadow because this is going to be a pretty bold look today. So I'm just using the shadow to drag out the shape that I wanna create for this look. Now to blend out that burgundy, I wanna go into this color Coral Diving. And this is going to just kinda diffuse the edges of that burgundy shadow so it's not such a bold transition on my lid. As you can see, it is blending out very, very nicely with that color. It's a very light coral shade, but it works perfectly for diffusing the edge of a bolder shadow. Next, I'm going to go into this really pretty blue shade called Singled Out. And I'm using that to just deepen the crease area because I want it to be a little bit darker since I am going to be creating a cut crease for this look. I wanted my crease area to be nice and bold and deep. So I'm just placing this in my crease, blending it into that burgundy shade just a bit. And as you can see, it's creating a really pretty deep purple shade, but you can also see the blue peeking through. Now I'm going in with some of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm just using this to create about a three quarter cut on my lid. And today you guys, I actually want to do a little bit of a double cut crease. So I'm going in with this really pretty coral shade and this one is actually called Heat Up. <laughs> they have some really cute names for these shadows, but it's called Heat Up and I'm placing that on the upper portion of this cut crease. But as you can see, I'm not dragging it down because I only want it on the very top portion of the cut because I am going to cut my crease once again after I place this right next to that deep blue shade. This pose is a little bit difficult for me because I'm not used to doing a look like this. And I just wanted to try something different today. Now I'm going back in with a little bit more of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas just to cut that crease once again as you can see just below that shade heat up so I can go in for my actual lid. Now I'm going into this beautiful light teal shade and this is called Pool Floaty. And I'm placing that just on the beginning portion of that cut crease. This is a shimmer shadow. Next, I'm going back into the blue shade, which is singled out. And I'm placing that on the outer portion of my cut crease. 
and this shade is a matte so it's kind of tricky trying to blend it into the shimmer shadow but I worked it out so now I'm going back and forth with that blue and with that first burgundy shadow blending those on the outer portion of my lid just making sure that everything comes together and blends together nicely so this is what we have so far moving on to my complexion I'm priming my face today with the Too Faced Prime and Peachy Primer this is a really nice primer you guys if you like a matte look or you have oily skin I think this is a perfect primer for you for foundation I'm using my Maybelline and this is the 24 hour what is it color stay foundation and I'm using the color 360 mocha and this is a very nice matte foundation as you can see it's a little bit dark for me right now it's a nice summer shade for me but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and brighten my face up a little bit with my concealer so I'm using this L'Oreal infallible concealer today I love this stuff you guys It's very high coverage and it blends really well with all of the foundations that I've used it with it blends very nicely I've never had any issues with this concealer it is the bomb Now that I have my concealer blended out, I'm going to go in with my J Cat Banana Powder and I'm just going to go ahead and set, <laughs> went in with a little bit too much you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes and the other areas of my face that I highlighted. I'm also going in with my e.l.f. Constantly Bronze Powder and you guys know I use this for my face powder because I really like how it sets and I love the color but I'm using that to set the rest of my face. Now to go ahead and bronze myself and actually kind of use it as a contour as well, I'm using my Morphe Glamour Bronze Palette. And as you can see, it deepens up the outer, you know, perimeter of my face nicely. It gives me a really nice bronze look. And I also like to use it for my contour because I don't always want a cool tone contour. So I'm using my Juvia's Place, the Saharan Volume 1 Blush Palette today. And I'm going in with this color Neo. And as you can see, yes, I'm going ham with the blush today. <laughs> I went in a little bit too much, but that's okay. Now I'm going in with the Becca, Chloe, and Malika Bronze and Highlight Palette. I love this palette, you guys. My beautiful friend, Lily gave me this palette and I love it love it love it it's so so pretty the highlight in here is just beautiful it's not blinding but it's very very pretty now I'm going back into that burgundy shade and I am just bringing it down on my lower lash line just to kind of make this look come together I'm also going back into that blue and using that on my lower lash line as well because I want to create the same color that I placed in my crease area, so I need to blend those two colors together. Now for my lips, you guys, I know, don't, don't get mad at me, okay? I'm using my Ellery Lip Liner, <laughs> as usual, and I'm going in with my Fenty Gloss Balm on top of that. It's just my perfect combination, you guys, okay? I'm sorry I love it <laughs> now I did go in with my Rimmel um, eyeliner and my pixie mascara I forgot to put that on film I was talking and everything but wanted to go ahead and let you know what I use for that but this is the look you guys I really like it I think this Morphe palette worked out pretty well this isn't an actual review, but for a first time look, I think that it created a beautiful, bold eye look today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.